welcome back to the show, y'all. Quick video. Thought I'd share my results on dark green with you guys. Uh, the Grills Garage. Liquid Polygloss. Polywax. Man, this stuff is amazing. Um, y'all see the gloss there on the fender. Even though this Honda of mine need paint. But I still keep it clean. Keep it looking good, though. As much as possible. As you guys know how I do. Even though it need paint, I still try to make it look the best it can look. If it's gonna look any, it's gonna look good in it. I'm gonna make bring the best out in it. So as you can see right there, look at the gloss on the paint right there on that fender. I'm gonna polish them and do the whole hood with this poly wax. This stuff is amazing, guys. I'm telling you, $22 well spent right here. Y'all about to get you some. All right. So now, I'm going to take it off the door area. Here's the microfiber cloth I'm using here. Extra soft. As you can see, I'm going to take it off the passenger door. I mean, you can just see the gloss. Okay, let's bump it off. Say it got a curing time of 30 minutes on this. This is some really good wax. If you never use this polygloss, polywax, I keep calling it polygloss. Y'all about to get you some if you never used it. It's only like 22 bucks. Check that out. Even though this car need paint, it still don't look that bad, as you can see. I got to take the wax off on the back door area. And it's just so easy to apply as well. All right, so what I'm going to do, since I got a little bit on the applicator here, this stuff is amazing. I just want to let y'all see what it do on dark green paint. I takes it up here quickly with crosshatch pattern. I don't think nothing abrasive in this. It ain't. It's only for protection. Starting to slide on the hood. To me, your car can't hardly never get enough protection. In my opinion. Especially for these harsh winters that's coming in here. I said, <laughs> this car need paint, but you know, I'm not going to put up too much money in it. I'm just make it look the best. It's good look for now, because pretty soon I'm about to get another one. I'm about to buy another SUV pretty soon. So, I won't even be driving a car that long. After a while, I turn it into a project car, I sell it one. But, uh, man, I just had to let y'all see what that polygloss looked like. Man, it's amazing. Boy, it looks pretty decent. All right, so I'm going to let that cure out on that hood. And it doesn't take long for this wax to dry up. And that's all you can do when you don't want to put a whole lot of money in such an older vehicle. You got to try to make it look the best you can make it look. You know, bring out the best in it. Even though if you don't get no fresh paint or none of that stuff, you still got to make it look the best it can look with the paint that's on it. That's all I'm doing. All right, so let's go ahead and buff this off. Y'all see the gloss just come right in. 
you'll be able to tell exactly why I'll stop when you're using this wax. Because it just leaves a lot of gloss when you paint it. I mean, it's just amazing. Already, though, look at here. Let's move the baller. Because I know it ain't going to sit on the hood. It's going to be very slick. Let's flip the rag. So here we go. Now, another thing, you guys, you can't never get enough of. Can't never get enough. Microfiber cloths. <laughs> Need two trillion to do. You can't never get another microfiber cloth. Never. Think you got enough? Never. You'll never have enough microfiber cloths. Never, ever. Like I said, we need two trillion. Well, we won't never run out. Detailers, we need them. <laughs> can't buy that many, but we can never get enough. Trust me. All right, y'all can see that shine. You can see exactly why I stopped. So split on the hood. See there? How this stuff just glossed this half of the hood. You can see the difference. I come back, see the difference. Look at the, look at the passenger side and look at the driver's side. See the difference in the gloss? Look at there. You can see exactly why I stopped it. See that? How dull this side is compared to that where the polygloss was at. Man, you can see a big difference. See that? I don't know what it is they put in this polygloss. But <laughs> it's one hell of a product. <laughs> y'all see that now? I know y'all saw that. Shots out the grill's garage. But, um, I don't know what they putting in it, but <laughs> it may it makes your car shine. I mean, it shines. This is an old paint, though, and it make it shine. Y'all see that split difference on the hood? That's why I want to do this on dark green and on a dull looking paint, so y'all can really see the difference. You can see a big difference there. I mean, from the passenger side. To the driver's side, you can see exactly where I stopped it. 100% can see it. <laughs> if y'all ain't convinced about that poly wax, I'm about to call it poly glows. Man, I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> if you got a black vehicle, dark green, dark blue, dark gray, It'll work on any color, but it really shows out. In my opinion, it shows out on dark colors. Black, dark blue, dark green, dark gray. Y'all get it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It really shows out on dark colors. I just want to share that with you. How this stuff make jacked up Honda Accord paint look good. So. <laughs> and y'all can tell exactly why I stopped that on that hood right there. Look at there. You can see exactly where I stopped. Stop right in the middle away so y'all can see the difference. So, y'all see the shining gloss on this old paint. So, y'all hit that subscribe button, man. That's it for now. Till next time, y'all stay tuned for my next video. I'm out of here. Peace.